the first anniversary of One Piece card game is finally upon us. And with that comes the English release of Set 5 OP05, Awakening of the New Era. I've got some loose packs right here, as well as some double pack sets to open up. So let's take a look, crack it open, and see what we can get. Okay, let's start with the double pack set. So in each of these, you get uh, two packs as well as a nice special Dawn pack. And in the Dawn pack, you have basically one of two types to get. So let's start with this first, see what we get out of these. And I'll just keep opening these until we see both of them. So you get an idea of what to expect out of these. All right, let's take a look. So there's two types. I believe there's like a Jaya edition style uh, Dawn card as well as one from the rooftop of Onigashima. So a good mix there. And for the first one here, we do have the uh, Jaya edition. So this is pretty much the triumph of Luffy over Anel at the end of Skypiea. And this is when he hits the bell and you can see his shadow from way up in the sky. So it's a pretty cool moment. It's really, really awesome. It's basically Luffy saying, can you hear it? Can you hear the bell from down below? The sky island, the city of gold, it's real. <laughs> it's a really cool moment. So if you haven't watched Skypiea or you skipped it, Go back to it, it's worth it. All right, let's uh, check the next one. So there's that type, there's one more. Let's see if we can hit that. If not, we'll just keep going. Oh, we got another Jaya. <laughs> there's another Luffy in the sky right there. The Skypiea edition. Okay. So yeah, we've got a few of these double pack sets, so hopefully we see a good mix of both types. I do believe we might have the other one here. Okay, and there it is. Luffy on the rooftops. This is after he punches down Kaido with the uh, red rock. And then Kaido just stares at him and is wondering, who is this kid? I thought I pieced him up earlier, like knocked him straight out. How is he hitting me as hard as he did? So he then kind of recognizes Luffy like, wait a minute, this kid might actually pose a threat. He might actually have some spunk to him. How high will your ceiling go? So now this gets him excited. He's ready to fight Luffy. He's ready to give him all he's got. So Kaido's one of those guys that loves a good piece of competition, somebody that can actually pose a threat to him. But anyways, let's take a look at these packs here. So there's a bunch of packs from the double pack sets. So let's open these slowly through here, see what we can get out of these. Kind of see what's, uh, what's in these uh, packs in terms of the set. What's in set five? Okay, we've got Orobi, we got St. Mulesguard, one of the good uh, Celestial Dragons. We got Don Quixote del Flamingo, Maynard, uh, Baby Five, Imperial en Energy Hormone. We've got Lieutenant Spacey, Revolutionary Army HQ, Monkey D. Garf with a nice little cartoonish look to him. <laughs> that looks really good. The Sakazuki uh, leader, common, nice. Hina and Karasu. So yeah, if you ever see a common leader in your pack, that basically means that uh, you're not getting anything out of your pack in terms of crazy hits. So just uh, don't uh, don't hold your expectations high if you see a common leader in your set, in your uh, pack there. Okay, we've got Starry. Uh, Captain McKinley, Honkichi, uh, Kuma, Charlestone, X-Barrels, Gamma Knife. That's pretty good for Purple Law. Uh, definitely likes using that card. Elthor, Monet, uh, Hot Couture, Patchwork, and we got Lindbergh. So obviously everybody's expectations with this set is to just go out swinging and trying to get the uh, best hits possible, the mangas as well as the Oda Signature Luffy. And if you are opening this set yourself, good luck to you and hopefully you find some good stuff yourself. Uh, Pell, Baby5, Hack, Franosuke, Chaka, there's an Anel common leader, okay, Lindbergh and Beppo. Anel, really good leader for this set, one of the big three with purple Luffy and black blue Sakazuki. They're gonna be big contenders for the meta, especially Sakazuki. He's uh, gonna be the undisputed champ when it comes to OP05 format. Really hard to deal with. Maynard, Sangoru, Steri, Yama, Gamma Knife, Imperial Energy Hormone, Upper Yard, Viola, Sabo Common, Hound Blaze, there's the removal card that Sakazuki loves to use. 
uh, Nefeltari Vivi, and Luffy giving Kaido that work, the nice uppercut straight to the chin, <laughs> piecing him up with a one-two combo with his Conqueror's Hockey, being able to figure out how to use it for the first time, and realizing that, wait, you can actually use it in combat instead of just knocking people out with your own sheer will. So yeah, there's those. There's our first Dawn right there. That's the typical Dawn of the set. If you open up a box of OP05, you should expect to get two of those Luffy punching Kaido Dawn cards. Okay, Dalmatian, Imperial Energy Hormone, Pell, Gamma Knife, Garp, Konis, Stick Stick of Meteora, uh, Rosinante, and Sabo Super, okay. So the Sabo Super probably used for like Bello Betty, things like that. Um, Bello Betty is pretty easy to build. Most of her cards can be gotten from this set right here. So very reasonable to build Bello Betty. Um, not really like the one that's gonna be making waves for this format. She's kind of like a glass can type leader. There's Luffy, purple Luffy, speaking of contenders. There's another Dawn, wow, nice, there we go. Double Dawn up. Okay, yeah, um, so Bella Betty, not super ultra competitive, but this guy definitely is, Purple Luffy. So that's who I'm running this set. Need me some uh, super rare kids. I need like a couple more. So hopefully we can find those in this opening. And get some good variety here. Got Sarkis, uh, Buffalo, Dalmatian, Pagaya, Mary Joie, Yama, Jinbei, Upper Yard, Truffle Girl Law, Sabo Common, Shirahoshi, and Beppo Rares. I feel like I'm getting some certain vibes from like retail packs. For some reason, like common leaders are so easy to get out of these packs. Or maybe I'm just not lucking out, who knows. Chapa Iman, Hakuba, St. Charlos, To'o, Mr. One, It's a Waste of Human Life, X Barrels, One-Legged Toy Soldier, Nico Robin, Punk Rotten, Fire Fist, and there's Koala, really nice artwork. Looks really good. Probably one of my favorites in the set, actually, in terms of super rares. I think they need to do more uh, supers with that kind of art and vibe with them. The background just looks really nice. You would think that almost is like the alternate art, right? The way it looks, it just looks really good. Like I bet that would look great with texturing, which is cool. That means like artists, like they just kind of divvy up the artwork between different rarities and it just looks good across the board no matter what kind of rarity it is. Another NL. <laughs> I think I have enough of him already. You only need one leader, right? So. I think we're good on the Anels right there. He's also really good too in this set. So Anel's very good. He just kind of stays alive. <laughs> so if you bring him down to zero life, he adds an extra life from his deck to the top of his life. So you kind of have to play around that and kind of account for the fact that even if you bring him down to zero, uh, he still has another one to work with. Sabo again. There is a crazy amount of common leaders out of these packs. It's kind of wild actually. Uh, when you're at sea, you fight against pirates. Such a great line uh, of Luffy when they were uh, defending the uh, scabbers and the samurai against all the beast pirates at sea. Really good moment uh, prior to entering Onigashima and uh, fighting against uh, the Animal Kingdom pirates. Okay, Stainless. St. Mulesguard, Maynard, Chapa Iman, Jimbei, Mr. One. It's a waste of human life. Let us begin the world of violence. We just got two quotes right here, back to back. Kaido uh, saying, let's just drown the world in violence. Create the biggest world war the world's ever seen. And there he is actually, a alternate art Kaido. Speaking of, there he is. Awesome. Nice. This is the one 10 drop secret rare of the set. The other one is gear five. This Kaido lets you just draw four, which is amazing. Um, very good for certain decks. So. More often than not, you're going to be at three or less life, and that's the condition to activate this. So more often than not, you're going to see this go through, which is really good. This this can make a huge impact if your hand is dead or if you need new cards. So really, really good card. All right, cool. We got an alternate out of these. Nice. So there's the double pack set coming through. What else can we get, though? There's Holly, just the dog. <laughs> the dog of Anel's crew is commanding officers. There we go, there's another kid, nice. Okay, so I needed one of these, I need one more. I can finally build my purple Luffy deck. I have pretty much everything else, so that's awesome. 
Yeah, I've been desperately needing more of those, so that's great. Love to see it. Okay, Sanguru. There's my boy Sanji. Dofi, Nola, Kuma, Yama, Mr. One. It's a waste of human life, Saint uh, Rosward. Revolution Army HQ, Amazon, Virgo, and Hina Rares. I think Hina is also played in Sakazuki as a decent tech option. Or just good in general. I think uh, the card is run, so not really like a secret or anything, you know. It's a good card. Orobi, Stainless, Maynard, Holly, Basil Hawkins, Jimbei, Hino Bird Zap, Onami. That's a cool artwork of Nami. Looks really nice. Chaka, Bastille. When you're at sea, you fight against pirates. And a Rebecca Super. Very, very good card. Acts as a blocker. Brings things out of your trash. So you can play more characters for free using her. So she just does it all. Really good character. Really good card. Good for Sakazuki, which is funny because it's probably supposed to be a Rebecca-themed card. And yet, it's better in Sakazuki. Okay, we got a decent number of packs here. Uh, just loose packs. So we're going to just tear through these real quick, see what we can get. Yet another Anel. He's just sticking around. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> He's just here. He's doing his thing. Just a cocky dude with a huge god complex. All right, let's see the next pack. Probably the most awkward way to open a pack ever. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we got it in there, though. It's all good. Oh my god! Whoa! Okay, nice! Let's go, Nami! Oh my god, this is beautiful! Wow, okay. Yes, this is the uh, special illustration rare. Wow. Or illustration rare. I'm like talking like it's Pokemon out here. Um, this is one of the special rares of the set here. Look at that beautiful gold texture. This is such a cool card. Oh my gosh. And then finally, like, it's gotten off the ban list too. So Nami is free. Free to do as she likes. Let's go. Oh wow. This is probably one of the better hits of the set too. This is fantastic. Really, really beautiful card. Yeah, there's her, there's Yamato, there's Uta, Kaido, and I think Luchi as well. These are really, really nice. Yeah, they like actually just absolutely home run, knocked these out of the park. Like, they're just beautiful. Yeah, if you get a special rare, always be happy with these. These are just beautiful, gorgeous cards. All right, we're turning up. Let's go. We got some nice straight heat out of that one. Nami just showing up. Let's go. more common leader action right here. Anel, once again. How many is that? Is that like four or five at this point? Something like that. We got, we've got we seen a lot of Anel. Where's the alt art Anel, though? Where's he at? Okay, we got Dalmatian, Sanguru, Dofi, Nola, Lieutenant Spacey, Yama, Upper Yard, Usohachi. Do you, do you guys see this? Is this actually real? This can't be, right? <laughs> Anel's hearing me talking. He's like, you want you want to see me again? Well, you're gonna get it. <laughs> Alright, in that case, let's see, let's see the alternate art at that point. <laughs> if Anel's just gonna keep popping up as a common in these packs. Just like the deck won't die, the, the pulling of Anel, pulling him as a card in my packs, it won't die. He is always here to stay. There's Koala again. So super koala. Skypea cards out in the field and Koala, what, what are you doing? Why are you back again? You're here yet again. 
she's just she's just chilling she's just she's just hanging around you know just here what are you doing <laughs> nothing me <laughs> just hanging around just doing her thing i mean hey can i get another eustace captain kid though what about that five drop kid he's really good i could use another one you know let's see another one of those okay hey and speaking of there he is okay cool <laughs> hey if you complain enough maybe it happens right this is amazing for purple luffy by the way i don't think i really talked about him before but he's a great card um you basically want to get this guy out as quickly as possible when you're playing purple luffy because a lot of your purple cards have like don minus effects so he allows you to basically rebate you get the don back and it's active too so you can attach it to characters and swing and things like that or even keep it for uh counter events um, on your opponent's turn. So he's just really good. Really nice blocker. He even has counter power too. He's just a universal, good, all-in-one type of character. Yeah, really solid card. Okay. There's a Sapo super right there. Okay. And you get instant value, which is really nice. Okay, we haven't gotten this guy yet. This is Rob Lucci, super rare. He basically removes two cards off the field. And with Sakazuki, um, meeting the conditions to do that is super, super easy. Even though Lucci says it's KO's like a really low cost character, like a two and a one. Like a two and one cost means nothing, right? Some decks don't even run cards like that. But with Sakazuki, he reduces cost of your characters so easily that like... If you see the Sakazuki player reducing cost of two of your characters at once, and he still has Dawn up, and he's ready to play another character, yeah, he's probably bringing out the Luchi, and you get to say goodbye to your characters, pretty much. So yeah, a couple rares there. We've got the uh, Corazon as a nice common. Corazon just setting himself on fire. I mean, what else is new with him? Okay, ulti super. Nice searcher. Nice little four drop, 5k power. So you can swing with her. She's a good body. And yeah, you get some good draw power. HQ. We got an Anel Super. That's our first one here of this video. He has a really funny effect. Um, it basically doesn't work if there's a Luffy on the field, which is hilarious. <laughs> very, very reminiscent of the anime and manga where like uh, Anel tries to cook Luffy with his lightning and it does absolutely nothing because Luffy is made of rubber. So I really love it when they make fun references like that in the card game. It's like, okay, they make it exactly lore accurate. And... <sighs> no way! Yo, let's go! Yamato! This is another special rare. Wow, these are like the two best ones in the set that you can get. And I'm not... Am I... Am I Am I, am I imagining things here? Like, I can't even speak right now. Wow, this is actually crazy. That is so beautiful. The gold texture just kills me every time. That's actually nuts. Wow, beautiful card. This is a great reprint from set one, too. Um, this Yamato, I'm pretty sure, is going to be used for the new Yamato leader in set six. So this is a great pickup for sure. Especially if you're going to run that yellow-green Yamato um, after set five. Wow, beautiful card. This is an amazing, amazing reprint of Set 1 Yamato. Fantastic. Okay, um, I'm kind of speechless after that. Uh, yeah. We only have like three packs left, so that's that's literally it after this. Wow. Yeah, I'm speechless. That's insane. So cool. Purple Luffy yet again. There's my boy. Oh, I'm going to be running him full force for uh, Set 5 here. So, looking forward to using Luffy. I think he's really fun. He's a fun leader. 
I love the ability to kind of like get myself to late game earlier than my opponent and being able to get out those key iconic cards. Not iconic, but like getting out those key cards for your deck and establishing a good presence on the board. Of course, that's easier said than done against Sakazuki. There's another Dawn. Because Sakazuki can just easily get rid of your characters on a whim. So it's kind of like a race against the finish, a race to the finish against Sakazuki. Can you swing wide enough to stop him and make it difficult for him to remove everything off your board. <laughs> it's almost like the scene from SpongeBob where like SpongeBob is uh, smashing all the clocks and Squidward just grins at him and just opens up the closet full of clocks. The Squidward is purple Luffy. Just get out as many bodies as you can while Sakazuki tries to remove everything. <laughs> that's, that's all you can hope for really. And for our final pack, we have another Rob Lucci super. And that is the ending right here. So that's all of our packs for this video. So let's take a look and review exactly what we got today. Yes, yeah, so we got a decent number of Dawn cards right here. Always nice to have these. I love collecting these Dawn. Just anything from the manga is my drug. I love collecting manga, the manga themed images and artwork that is Oda's. It always looks good, but the artists themselves, they make amazing cards too. So we got a nice assortment of supers here. Pretty much almost everything you can expect from the set, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if we missed any or not. I can't remember every super, but from the hits today, we've got the Kaido alternate art. I love this one. This looks really cool. Kaido in his dragon form. We've got the Yamato special rare. And also the Navi special rare. Absolutely beautiful. I think these are the two best special rares in the set. They are absolutely gorgeous. So that's going to be it for me today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking your time out of your day to watch this. And if you enjoyed what you uh, saw, drop me a like, leave a sub. I'd love to have you. Um, I'll be doing more openings like this down the line. So without further ado, I'm going to end it right here. Thank you so much once again, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace.